Welcome to the world of AWS. If you're new to AWS Web Services, this video is just for you. Get ready to embark on an exciting journey where we're going to explore the fundamental AWS services and build a social media architecture as well. Let's dive in. Today, about 40% of cloud hosted services rely on AWS to host their applications. AWS operates a vast global infrastructure of data centers to ensure high availability and low latency for all of their services. It spans regions, availability zones, and edge locations worldwide. Regions represent geographical areas with multiple availability zones, while availability zones are isolated data centers within a region. Edge locations bring content closer to the end users for improved performance. To make this easier to comprehend, let's use a real life example. Let's imagine that Netflix has a global infrastructure that spans regions, availability zones, and edge locations worldwide. Regions will be a large geographical area such as North America, Europe, or Asia. Each region will consist of multiple availability zones. For instance, in North America, there might be an availability zone in the city of New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. These availability zones are isolated data centers within the region. Now, let's say a user in New York wants to stream a movie on Netflix. Instead of accessing the content from a distant location, Netflix brings that content closer to the user utilizing edge locations. An edge location could be a data center or a caching service that is strategically placed in or near New York City. By having edge locations, Netflix can stage or store popular movies or TV shows closer to the end users, reducing the latency and improving performance. So, when the user in New York City requests to stream a movie, Netflix can deliver it quickly from the nearby edge location instead of retrieving it from a remote data center. This results in faster streaming speed, lower buffering time, and overall, a better user experience. Now. Let's take a closer look at AWS services. Some services are globally available while others are region specific. For example, Amazon S3, a scalable storage service is globally available ensuring data durability and accessibility wherever you are. On the other hand, Amazon RDS, a managed data service is limited to specific regions to optimize performance and compliance. To access AWS services, you will need an AWS account for sure. Within an account, you can create multiple users and manage their access using identity and access management. Each user can have different levels of permission and access to specific services as well. This helps maintain security and control over all of your resources. This is particularly useful in a scenario where multiple individuals or a team needs access to the AWS resources. By creating separate users, you can manage the access and permissions more effectively while also implementing the principle of least privilege. The principle of least privilege states that each user should have a minimum level of permission necessary to perform their required task and nothing more. For example, you might have an administrator user with full access to manage all resources, while other users may have more restricted access, limiting them to specific services or actions. This helps ensure that the user only has access to resources that they need for their specific task, reducing the risks of unauthorized access and accidental misconfigurations. IAM also allows you to create groups which can be used to assign common permissions to multiple users at the same time. This simplifies the management of these different privileges, as policies can be passed at a group level rather than individually. By utilizing IAM, you can maintain a secure and controlled environment for your AWS account. It enables you to grant appropriate access to users, enforces least privilege principles, and monitors and audit the user's activity within the AWS account. Today, AWS provides a wide range of services to cater to everybody's need. Because AWS has more than 199 services currently, we're gonna explore a few of them in different categories. Starting with the data services. 
we have Amazon RDS, RDS DynamoDB, Amazon Redshift, Elastic Cash, Amazon Timestream, Amazon QLDB, and Amazon Neptune. For network services, we have Amazon VPC, Amazon Direct Connect, Amazon Global Accelerator, AWS VPN, and a load balancer as well. For management services, we have AWS CloudFormation, AWS CloudWatch, AWS CloudTrail. Application services constitute of Lambda, Amazon API, Amazon SNS as well. The development services will constitute of the code commit, code build, and code deploy. Commit services that I could think of right away are the EC2, ECS, and Lambda. Analytics services will include EMR, Athena, and Kinesis. The DNS services will include Cloudflare and Route 53 for sure. Now let's make this fun. Imagine stepping into the shoes of the visionary Mark Zuckerberg, ready to embark on an exciting journey to create a groundbreaking social media application called Threads. As engineers, we understand the importance of fostering innovation and setting ambitious goals. In this scenario, let's imagine that we're starting from scratch with a small on-prem architecture catering just to 100 users. Join us as we bring Mark's vision to life. In the bustling confines of our vibrant office, a passionate team of developers gathered to discuss the architecture needed to power threads. With a shared vision of transforming communication, we set out to design an exceptional social media platform. To achieve this, we need to identify the necessary components and AWS services that will lay the foundation for threads. Let's explore the key components required to build our on-premise application. We'll talk about a few services that will be needed for this on-prem architecture. The first thing needed will be on-prem servers. We will deploy our servers on site to host the application's core infrastructure, including the web server and the application server. Then we need a database server as well. A dedicated server that will store the user's profiles, post and other essential data using the database management system like MySQL or PostgreSQL. For security, we will need a networking infrastructure. As on-prem networking setups constitute of routers, switches, firewalls to ensure a secure and reliable communication between the users and application, we're going to implement this in our networking infrastructure as well. And then we need a load balancer to distribute the incoming user's request across multiple servers and ensure optimal performance we we'll incorporate our own on-prem load balancing solution. Finally, we need a content delivery network. Implementing an on-prem CDN will help improve content delivery speed and reduce latency by catching static assets closer to the end user. Obviously, a lot more will be needed to make this architecture secure and user-friendly. However, for the purpose of this example, we're going to stick with these five services. But now, imagine the team working so hard to realize this dream. And on a glorious day, Thread gains an immense level of popularity. Its user base skyrockets beyond our expectation. Our humble on-premise infrastructure can no longer handle the tremendous influx of users. It's time to transition to the cloud, where scalability and flexibility reigns supreme. With cloud hosting, Thread can seamlessly accommodate the growing demand, ensuring a seamless user experience, enabling us to focus on innovation of new futures. We can scale both horizontally and vertically as need be, and we can properly manage the influx traffic while making sure that customers almost never face any performance issue. Let's explore the AWS services we will leverage if we have to move to the cloud. For this plan to be successful, we need the following AWS services, a VPC, subnets, security groups, a database, a cashier, CloudFront, CloudWatch, and all the other services you see on your screen right now. To give you a better breakdown of these services, Route 53 is going to serve as a DNS service to manage the domain name of the application, providing reliable routing of users' requests to the application resources. Then, we're going to need a few EC2 instances. The Elastic Compute Cloud instances will host both the front-end and back-end of our application. The front-end web servers will serve as the user interface, 
while the app servers will handle the business logic and processing. Then the security groups will help control the traffic getting in and out of these servers. We'll also need a load balancer. Load balancers are essential in modern compute environments today as it distributes the incoming traffic across multiple servers or instances. It will distribute the incoming traffic across the multiple EC2 instances that we have, ensuring high availability and efficient utilization of our resources. We're then going to need a database. And for the start, we're going to go with an RDS database since it has automated backup, automated software patching, automated scaling, and allows us to easily manage our database availability, durability, and performance. Amazon RDS, this managed relational database service will store and manage the user data, ensuring high availability, automated backup, and efficient storage. As the user base grows, DynamoDB will come to play. We're gonna use this non-SQL database to utilize the scalability and handling high traffic loads once our database or our user base grows. For low latency, we're also gonna implement the Dask. This specific cache here is designed specially for the DynamoDB AWS service. We're gonna put this service in between the application and the database. This cache engine will enhance database performance by caching frequently accessed data reducing latency and improving response time as well. For a less costly way of storing some of this data, we're also going to have to implement an S3 bucket. It will securely store the user's generated media content and also photos and videos at a highly scalable and durable way. User's videos and photos will be uploaded directly to the S3 bucket. We're going to need a content filter to help filter through this content and make sure that only the appropriate content is being stored in the bucket. And for this, we'll use Amazon Recognito. Amazon Recognito will filter images for nudity and violence, for example. This will help to enforce content restriction and ensure that only the allowed content type is uploaded to the S3 bucket, maintaining the integrity of the platform. To be able to cater to all users, we're also going to have to implement a clickstream analysis service. And for this, we can use Amazon Kinesis. The clickstream analysis tool will enable and make sure that the behavior of the users are being tracked, aiding in delivering personalized content and optimizing the user's engagement. Since users will also be using their phone to access some of these videos and images, we need a tool that will be able to quickly convert the video into a format that can be visualized by the user's phone. And for this, we can use Lambda. To help with our business strategy and make sure that our business is prospering and helping the customer, what we're going to need also is a data analysis platform. And for this, we can use Redshift. It will provide tools and capabilities to analyze the de demography of the customer base preferences and trends as well. Let's then add CloudFront to our infrastructure. Cloud, CloudFront then will help as the content delivery network. This will help in caching the most accessed data closer to the end user, then reducing latency and enhancing the user experience. Also, let's add an SNS notification service as well as an SMS push mobile notification service. This service will enable the delivery of real-time notification to users via SMS, enhancing user engagement and interaction. I believe we also need an email service. It will facilitate sending trans transactional emails, notifications, and communication within the users efficiently and reliably. To easily monitor our infrastructure and make sure that no attacks are being made, we can use a service, for example, like, let's say CloudWatch. Apart from that, we also need an Amazon API gateway. It will act as the front door for the application, enabling secure and efficient access to the backend services via APIs. Our line also is seamless integration with external systems and services. 
Let's then dive in to see how IAM, AWS DevOps Pipeline, CloudFormation, and AWS Secret can be utilized to set up the infrastructure for Thread's social media application. IAM will play a crucial role in ensuring secure access control to various AWS resources and services within the infrastructure. It allows you to define fine-grained permissions, create rules, and manage user identity as well. IAM will be used to grant appropriate access privileges to developers, administrators, and other stakeholders based on their roles and responsibilities. The AWS DevOps pipeline will enable the automation of software release process, facilitating continuous integration and deployment of the Threads application. It will provide a streamlined workflow for building, testing, and deploying code changes across the different environments. By defining stages, and actions within the pipeline. You can automate the deployment process while maintaining high quality and minimizing errors as well. CloudFormation, on the other hand, is an infrastructure as a code service that allows you to define and manage the infrastructure for your application using a JSON or YAML template. With CloudFormation, you can create a reducible and version controlled representation of your infrastructure. AWS Secret Manager will then help to simplify and manage secrets such as the API key, database credentials, and other sensitive information required by the Thread application. It provides a centralized and secure repository for storing secrets, eliminating the need of hard coding or manually managing secrets within your code base. Threads can securely access the secrets at runtime, ensuring a robust and secure environment. With our social media application hosted on the cloud, we've unlocked an unparalleled scalability and flexibility for our application. As Thread continues to grow, AWS services seamlessly adapt to meet the increasing demand of our expanding user base. We can easily scale resources up and down, ensuring optimal performance and cost efficiency. Congratulations, you've witnessed the evolution of Threads from a small on-premise service to a thriving social media application hosted in the cloud. By harnessing the power of AWS services, we've created a platform that can scale with the ever-growing needs of our users. Remember, innovation knows no boundary, and with the cloud as our ally, we can take it to even higher heights. Success, success, and success. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to watch our other videos, please click here to continue. Thank you. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.